Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our week seven for uh, assessment of the candidates for. Okay, so we would like to start the ball rolling. Um, I would like call on. So, sagutin natin po ang limang questions at a time, or shall we do it like ten questions at a time? Would that be okay? So, sino ba yung unang dumating? Five each na lang po, Dok. <laughs> Talagang tumawad pa. Sige, five each. So, yung tumawad yung mauna. Okay, Sir Leo, good evening. Can you start? Good evening, uh, sir. Yeah. Um, good evening, everyone. So, question number one. Which of the following relationships belong to uh, mother and son? Um, A, water and fire. B, earth and metal. Um, C, metal and wood, D, wood and earth, and E, metal and fire. So, follow me yung code po na uh, FEMWAWO, F-E-M. So, letter B, uh, mother would be earth, and uh, metal would be the the sun. Okay. So, thank you. Um, Yeah, the answer is correct. Ano pong cycle ang tawag doon? Uh, <laughs> ano po? Uh, mother sign cycle, uh, mother son cycle, or the generating uh, cycle. Yes, yes. Uh, generating cycle. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And, and uh, or the wood. shang, the shang cycle. You pronounce it as shang, no? Kahit shang. Shang cycle. F H E S. Okay. Congratulations, Aba. sir Leo. Let's now proceed to the next one, number two. Um, number two. Um, according to the theory of the five elements, the liver fire um, attacking the lungs. So, belongs to, so when we say um, liver fire, so it is wood attacking the lungs, that would be large intestine, uh, lung large intestine, that would be metal. So, uh, wood attacking a metal, um, Ang mga pagpipilian po would be A, mother disease affecting son, B, uh, son disease affecting mother, C, interacting, D, overacting, and E, uh, counteracting. So the answer would be um, letter E, counteracting. Kasi po, um, the um, liver would fall under wood and then the lung would fall under metal. So... Uh, the the metal should be controlling the wood, but on the other hand, uh, it would be a liver fire attacking the lung. So, po. So it will be counteracting. Letter E. So this time, since the organ supposed to be controlled is stronger, um, yes sir, the control is being controlled uh, is being insulted. So what do you call this cycle, po? Remember, there are four. We have the uh, generating or the Shang cycle. Then we have uh -huh. um, the the the, con the controlling the controlling or what we call the ko the ko cycle or ke. Uh, if you're Chinese, you pronounce it ko ko cycle. Uh -huh. And then, um, what's the third and fourth? Uh huh, doctor. So the, I need your help on, on this one. one <laughs> <laughs> the third one is overacting, or what we call the the Cheng Ayun. cycle. The Cheng. Are you overacting? Uh, ito. The, this is an example of the fourth one. Counteracting. The insulting cycle or counteracting. No. Uh, insulting. Uh, the Wu. The Wu cycle. So I hope as very good practitioners. We master all the four uh, relationships of the five elements. Um, uh, know, this is very, very important, especially when you deal with patients. This is what really differentiates a good practitioner from a mediocre one. So we hope that uh, you master this. In fact, I think on your email, we have sent to you the, the books. If I'm not mistaken, we sent you like three or four books. Kasi meron po tayong tinatawag na five elements acupuncture or what we call the um, 
yeah, it's a uh, a practice. Uh, okay. very, very, very. Uh, it's which is very good for people with uh, mental issues, and uh, if you practice that, if you um, go over it, uh, it would be very easy. This will this will uh, hone your skills and actually being able to already know what the patient probably has just by looking at the face and uh, and also the way she might behave. No, okay. So I hope you have been. Uh, very, I, I don't know kung nabasa nyo na yung about observation of the shen, uh, which is very, very important. But we're going to take the top during module two. And congratulations, everyone. And I hope you're all serious. So the answer is letter E, counteracting. Alam nyo ba, in, in clinical practice, this is very, very common. That's why we see people who are uh, having asthmatic attacks or have cough or who suddenly have would suddenly have uh, uh, lung issues pag galit, no? pag, um, uh, when you have a liver cheese stagnation. Okay? So I believe that all of you already are familiar with uh, how liver fire came about. Okay? So liver, cheese stagnation, there will be liver, uh, liver heat or liver yang rising. And if uncontrolled, this can lead to liver fire. So you would be looking at uh, a very, very strong wood element, which will eventually uh, injure or insult the, the metal, which is the lung. Thank you very much. Number three, sir. Number three, uh, hyperactivity of the liver attacking the spleen. So now it would be the liver attacking the spleen so um it is wood uh attacking earth so this is controlling so controlling uh there uh a interacting b overacting c counteracting d mother disease affecting sun and e sun disease affecting sun so it would be um uh, liver attacking the spleen um, letter B, doctor, overacting. And what do you call this cycle in China? Uh, it, it is a controlling mm -hmm. cycle, doctor. Uh, no, the, no. That's the, actually, the, uh, ganito, okay. ha, I'll tell you one. You uh -huh. have, uh, there are actually two types. You have the physiological and the pathological. Physiological, that means it's normal. So the normal one is uh, generating and controlling. Now, if you remember, generating is mother and son, controlling is grandmother, grandson. Papa. So it's a, it's, that's healthy. But this one is overacting. That's too much control. So this is what we call the overacting or the check. Okay. Um, uh, so yes, no overacting and the insulting, the earlier example, are pathological. And this is where we can really test the metal of the the metal of the the skill of the practitioner okay so in this case you have a, a patient who has um, who is very, very agitated who has probably irritability or so so galit no <laughs> and so um, this will impact the spleen not even this not only the spleen it can even impact the stomach so now a new what do you think is the possible manifestation um, when the spleen is affected or is being attacked? Distraction. Okay, remember, yung spleen is ano, paano ba yung chin niya, going up or going down? Going Spleen going down. From the spleen goes to the lungs, right? Yes. Chi pupunta sa lungs, so it's going up. Yes. So what happens if you attack the spleen? So it will actually counter the normal flow, the flow. of the chin, which ano ma ma observe mo. You'll have abdominal distension at the same time. You'll have diarrhea or LBM, soft stools, no? Yung mga matatay ka bigla. So I hope that makes sense. This is yes, also very common in practice. So in this case, your treatment principle should not be focused on the spleen. In fact, it should also it should you know. First, you need to uh, calm the liver. No? Kalmahin mo yung liver. Hindi ayusin mo kaagad yung spleen. That's stupid. So, you have to calm the liver. 
you have to uh, you know sedate it okay mm -hmm. and i think you already know the points there and then liver two and then you try to strength strengthen the spleen no liver two is when you have liver fire you don't have liver fire pa here ano pa lang oh. siya, uh, super super active pa lang siya. okay i would i would opt for liver three okay liver three and probably li4 the, the the four gates thank you number four um the liver disease transmitting to kidney belongs to so it is liver disease transmitting to kidney ah it is from wood going to water okay the sun affecting the uh, mother the mother affecting the sun C interacting, D overacting, and E counteracting. So it would be uh, the sun affecting the mother, doctor. Okay, the ba if the sun if the sun gets sick, the uh, the mother would always um try to help the ba. The mother okay. would do anything for the sun. So this is also very common, especially sa mga medyo. Uh, you know, who's always stressed and also have liver cheese stagnation or you have too much heat in the liver, alcohol, you know, alcoholica. This will definitely affect the kidney. Siyempre, pag, uh, and uh, remember that the liver and the kidney, they have a mutual relationship, right? So the liver yin is supposed to nourish the kidney. And so the kidney yin will also have to support the, the liver, right? To keep it cool. Okay, so ang mangyari dito, if you already have a liver issue, liver disease, the mother will come to the rescue. So you will be like, um, the mother, the, the yin will have to be contributed. So ang mangyayari, mauubos yung savings, right? So mm -hmm. you, will, you will have kidney yin deficiency. Yes. The mother will do anything to, to, uh, to help the son. Okay. Yes, sir. Other question. Mm -hmm. uh, if the liver is affected, the, but there is also tinnitus, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Because they have a mutual relationship. And then you also have like the kidney. You can also have tinnitus. Primarily the kidney. Okay. Ang tanong ko ganito. How would you differentiate? How would you know now which comes first? Like... Uh, how will I know na dahil sa liver issue yung aking tinnitus? How will I know na dahil sa kidney issue yung aking tinnitus? Okay. Pag, uh, if the if the the ringing of the ear is low-pitched, that's probably coming from the kidney. low pitch. Yeah. And then pag uh, high pitch, that's the liver. Okay. Mm. So yan, huh? Uh, the patient will never tell you they have tinnitus. It's up for you to really ask. So only oh. good ones ask. <laughs> so, okay, ganon. So I hope that's good. Let's go to number five. Number five. According to the theory of the five elements, the kidney disease transmitting to the spleen belongs to, so we have a kidney, so transmitting to the spleen. Mm. Okay, so um, A, son affecting mother, B, uh, the mother affecting the son, C, interacting, D, overacting, and E, counteracting. Um, number five is um, letter E, counteracting. What do you call that cycle again? Uh, insulting, counteracting cycle. It, uh, it is a patho pathological cycle. Yeah, the wood cycle, insulting. Very good. Now, uh, can you give us an example? Like, uh, I, I'm sure you've seen people with uh, weak kidneys, no? Or, you know, dialysis. Right? Have you seen, have you had patients and the dialysis na? Di ba, itiimti na mukha nila, gray, and very dry and skin, right? Yes. So, no. uh, the kidney is so uh, no, is so strong i know i'm sorry uh, this is another thing okay there can always be issues of like uh, too much kidney 
uh, yeah, kidney uh, fire due to weak uh, due uh, ano ba tawag dito empty heat no kidney yin deficiency with empty heat so di ba maiinit ka rin di ba so like what what are the manifestations uh you feel thirsty but you only take you know sips of water nai meron ka night sweats remember the 5 pound heat what else log uh, parang feeling mo parang nilalagdat ka sa gabi so you will have too much heat like lalakas yung kidney mo so this time what else will the patient feel kasi maaapektuhan si spleen eh di ba so iinsultuhin niya si spleen what happens when the spleen is weak so let's talk about spleen deficiency what happens so na yung feeling fresh ano ba yung manifestation talaga ng isang tao mahina ang spleen like what are we so um uh, what's this what is the importance of the spleen the ba you you uh, you have fatigue no fatigue fatigue talaga then you have loss of appetite okay <laughs> okay yun yun so you develop heat it can be empty heat or excess heat but in the kidneys it's mostly empty heat mm. okay. so are you excited to go to module 2 after <laughs> <laughs> yes no excited oh, ako pa lang hindi pa pa tayo mag- <laughs> kasi actual application yun yun yung mga parang mas maiintindihan mo kung bakit siya nagkakaganda okay uh, you know uh we we need to level up okay we want all the lump students to be serious kaya don't give me all those alibis i don't care it's up to you okay um if you do not have time find time to really what's this you really really review kaya nga ni record natin to there's no place for uh, not so good practitioners okay so we want you to have clients we want you to have patients we want you to have patients who really keep coming back and referring other patients to you and the only way you can do that is to be very good mm-hmm. kaya magtiis tayo kahit we only meet yes uh, i hope you all uh, you all really watch the videos okay thank you very much sir leo let's thank you sir 6 and 10 we will call you again later yes <laughs> okay sir Okay, can I call on Dr. Sam? Yes, no. Uh, sorry, marami na akong na-miss. <laughs> okay. Okay, six na ba tayo, Doc? Tuloy na ba tayo? Ah, sandali, before you continue, you may have mm-hmm. noticed that this is not the kind of five elements lecture that other people discuss. No? Uh, yes. What speak up with you is the clinical Yes. Kaya hindi yung puro lang yan yung wood, you know, that's that's actually basic. It's very elementary. We want you to be very good. So, I hope you really studied. Okay. Continue Dr. Sam. All right. Now, question number six. By the way, good evening to everyone. Good evening classmates and Doc Hector. So, according to the theory of the five elements, the spleen disease transmitting belongs to Uh, A interacting, B the mother affecting the son, the son affecting the mother, counteracting, overacting. Now, uh, the spleen is earth, and uh, the liver is wood. So in that way, the wood supposedly uh, control or what do you call this, uh, interacting the earth, but mm-hmm. this time it's reverse. So. Magkakaroon po ang tawag po natin diyan is ang answer po diyan is counteracting at letter D. Okay. Uh yeah, counteracting. Yeah, it's salting, no? In salting, so, yes. That will cycle. Okay. This is a very classic example of a spleen issue. Alam naman natin when you have spleen deficiency, you will have dampness, right? and mm. dampness is already excess mm. uh, so pag excess yon um uh, ita transmit na yon kay liver and the liver now which is supposed to be controlling the spleen will yes. be uh insulted mm. you follow so we have a uh, of course every time we think of spleen because mm. of your inability to transform and transport 
So that will become excess. Because dampness is excess. Phlegm is excess. Okay? So, um, humina yung spleen, the garonic dampness, that now is an excess issue. Anything excess will, will uh, be transmitted to the one controlling it. So, if it's a being, if you have uh, dampness, eventually you will have a liver issue. Okay. Mm. Uh, I know you're a very good naturopath, and I'm sure you have understood why mm. people with uh, diabetes, you know, blood sugar, mm. the body, yes, no. uh, pag uncontrolled, uh, ang titigas pa naman ang mga ulo niya. So, nagkakas po yes. sila ng liver, uh, fatty liver. Yes. So, this explains it. <laughs> And also, we just should not blame the blood sugar to go up because of the food you eat. It's also yes. on you know how you eat. And also the too much worrying, the too much thinking. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like, ngayon uh, kasi, yung era natin, you know, toxic na, no? Masyadong lahat, walang panahon. And every time they eat, you know, like the restaurant, you would see pumakain at the text. So... <laughs> so we end up, you know, having so many illnesses or any many problems. Thank you very much, Doctor Sam. Can we go to the num to the next number? Yes. All right. Now, which of the following methods follows the law of interacting of the five elements? Hmm. So strengthening the earth to produce uh, to produce metal, Ooh. nourishing the water to nourish the wood. Nourishing the water to nourish the wood, yes. Uh, uh, reinforcing the fire to tonify the earth. Parang, teka. Strengthening the metal to control the wood. Tagdad lang doka, wala itong time pressure, ha? Wala, wala. In law of interacting. Okay, in law of interacting. It's okay. Uh, if you notice, A, B, and C are practically the same. Yes. Uh -huh. It's like mother and son, right? Mm -hmm. But if you take a look at letter D, it's mm -hmm. the one that's not, uh, no, mm -hmm. that's different. So yes. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, the answer actually, Doc, uh, ito pong strengthening the metal to control the wood. It's nonsense po talaga. Okay. <laughs> It is the one na medyo iba, no? Oh, iba ho talaga siya. <laughs> okay, so I understand some of you probably. Um, di ba, we already took up uh, the five elements, pero I know medyo superficial lang po yung ating kaalaman. That's why this mm. time, since we're all preparing ourselves for uh, for more exciting uh, lectures, uh, very clinical, then I thought na it's about time that we we focus here, okay? Mm -hmm. So the correct answer is letter D. Letter D. Yeah. So this is basically um, what's this? Um, pinapalakas mo si Lola, mm -hmm. okay? So that's because uh, when you do interaction, you're actually um, what's this? You you also uh, affect the the, metal, the the elements in between. Okay. Pero, doc, uh, diba, doc, the sense is that if the metal organ is normal naman po yung function niya. We don't have to strengthen the metal to control the wood because that's the normal ano po, interacting process. Yeah, but if you know, if you, yeah, if you look at A, B, and C, it's just a simple mother and son. Yes. Ito naman, it's, um, you, you're actually strengthening the grandma to control mm. the, ano, kasi napaka ano po nito. This is like, you know, most people, uh, lalo na emotionally uh, yeah. stressed the liver. So, nagkakaroon ng uh, issue, nagwi-weaken ang metal. So, what happens mm. to the metal is weakened. You'll have cough. You feel depressed. All these things. Okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number eight. All right. Now, number eight. Uh all the following methods follow the law of interpromoting the five elements, except, okay, tingnan natin. So, strengthening the earth to produce uh, metal. So, that's a correct one. 
uh, interpromoting. Yeah, uh, interpromoting the earth to produce the metal. All right. Mm -hmm. Strengthening the earth to control the wood. In strengthening the earth to control the wood. That's something. Is that weird. a normal thing? And a normal. So reinforcing the metal and water mutually. That's correct. Reinforcing the fire to tonify the earth. That's correct also. Nourishing the water to nourish the wood. That's correct. So the answer is to pong ano. Uh, C. I uh, no, Sorry. Hold on. Uh, B. Strengthening. No. Uh, yeah. Strengthening the earth to control the wood. Okay. That's the one that's. Uh, okay. Oh. Kakaiba. Kakaiba. <laughs> Which is wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Number nine. Number nine, according to the five shoe points. So, uh, five shoe points corresponding to the five elements. Which of the following, which of the following points belongs to the metal? So let's see. Okay. Metal. Yeah. Yes. Um, review muna natin. Okay, mm. we have, uh, so we're talking about um, <laughs> like two dito, according to the mm. five elements. So we're talking about the 60 points. And mm. so, go, uh, so young, young channels, the bus, the do, do na go umpisa sa, sa metal, right? Mm, metal. This point. So yung water, niya, uh, yung last point niya would be the earth. Earth. Okay, so let's look at letter A. Mm. Um, letter A is gall, uh, um, gallbladder 44. So gallbladder 44. Uh, hold on. Gallbladder 44. So gallbladder 44 is... Is it metal? metal. Oh, yeah, it's metal. Uh, actually, gallbladder 44 is metal. Doon po sa ating five shoe points. Doon po sa young. Okay, good. Uh, what about LI2? LI2 is... Ang LI2, saan ba yung ano? Hindi ko lang memorize siya. Water. It's water. Water yung... <laughs> yeah, water. Water. What about lang 11? So, lang 11 is... That's actually, yin, ha? Yin yan. Uh, yin yan siya. Wood. <laughs> Huh? So that's wood. Very good. What about lang nine? Bilisan natin. Earth. Uh, lang nine earth. <laughs> Ang galing. Yun ba? Lang nine earth. Yes, earth, earth po yun. Earth. Tapos wood earth. po yung tama um, 43. Okay, very good. You're very good. Stomach 43 is... Um, earth. Wood under yang. Uh, wood pala, wood, sorry. <laughs> okay, so yung metal dito is called bladder 44. Very good. Under yang or ganda. Now let's go to okay. So how does the metal wait lang ha? Hmm. Ah, okay, di bale na. Waba pa number ten. <laughs> <laughs> According to the principle of reinforcing the mother uh, point for the deficiency syndrome, which of the following points uh, would you select to treat the deficiency of the liver? Mm -hmm. So deficiency of the liver. So, mother point, uh, five should in ito. So, the mother point, uh, deficiency of the liver, liver is... So, when you talk well, about mother point, mm -hmm. if the... This is something to do with ano yung element ng sun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, ang, ang tanong kasi dito, liver uh, uh, deficiency. So, una una, who helps the liver? Who is the mother of the liver? The mother of the liver is what is liver? Liver is wood. Uh, wood. And uh, the mother liver, uh, the mother of the wood is water, it's kidney. So therefore, uh the answer kidney. is kidney ten. That's gonna be B. So why you choose or, kidney ten instead of kidney three and kidney two? Kidney, mm. walang kidney twin, yeah, kidney twin, yeah. Uh, well, kidney ten kasi doc, don sa transport point or five shoe points natin. It's the okay. ano, pronunciation has C or mar ah, yeah. Very good. That's it. Okay. That's it because it's the 
the sea point. Sea point. Uh. It's very water. Yes. <laughs> the <Oral laughs> point. Very good. Congratulations, Dr. Sam. I hope you enjoy. Yes, po. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody Dr. having Kaling. a good time. <laughs> Kaling talaga. Idol, no? Oh, oh grabe. <laughs> you know, I'm so proud of all of you. I just hope, ano, sana all, no? Maraming salamat. We'll call you again later. Yes. Next, we go to number 11. Let's call on Ma'am Ami. Glorioso. Good evening, Doc. Good, Good evening. evening, everyone. You take uh, from 11 to 15. Yes, Doc. Uh, num number 11 is, according to the principle of producing the sun for the excess syndrome, which of the following points would you select to treat the excess syndrome of the heart? Letter A is heart 3, letter B is heart 4, letter C is heart 7, letter D is heart 8, letter E is heart 9. I would select okay. letter C One. for the heart 7. It's the Shenman. Okay, ganito. Um, like, um, how do we call, how would you do, how do we do this? Uh, so this is an, an uh, like we have an excess syndrome of the heart, no? Okay, so um, the heart is fire. The ba? Sino ba yung anak ng fire? The earth, right? Yes, sir. So you have to sedate the earth point of the heart. Right? Yes. So what yes, is sir. the earth point of the heart? Heart seven, seven, seven. Oh, answer. Thank you, Mama Ami. Ang galing. Thank you. Ang reason, ha? So now you know. I sorry. Number twelve. Front there is, uh, number twelve. There is no front no point located on the pathway of letter A, the lung channel, letter B, the spleen channel, letter C, the liver channel. Letter D, the gallbladder channel. And letter E is the REN channel. My answer is letter E, the REN channel. Are you sure, madam? Yes, Di ba front move ng ano? There is no front move point located on the REN channel, doc. Uh, letter B, yeah. No, wait lang. Don't you consider REN 12 as the front two of um, the stomach? The spin channel, Doc. Letter B, the spin channel, ah, Letter Doc. B, there sabi is, nyo kasi kanina, yeah. REN. No. So, walang, Doc, so, walang front view point located on the path. My answer, the, Doc. Excuse me, Doc. My answer, Doc, is letter E. Wala pong rent channel sa, sa front move point located on the pathway. So, how do you classify rent 12 and rent 17? Do you um, understand the question? Sinasabi dito, there is no front move point located on the pathway. O oh, sige, isa-isahin natin. Can you tell us the front move located on the lung channel? Yeah. Yes, says do. What's the front move that can you can find sa lung channel? Lung one. Okay, lung one. What's the front move located on the spleen channel? Liver thirteen. No, that's and the, uh, try to understand this po. Uh, spleen nine. Yung nasa pathway. Mm. Okay. Do you have? A front view point located on the pathway of the spleen channel. Doc, liver, liver 13, doc? No, liver 13 is the front move of the spleen, mm. not the channel. Yes, doc. I think you're a bit confused dito, no? Uh, uh, it's nga na naman ako. Oh, okay. Um, okay, sabi kasi ni uh, Sir... Uh, Leo, an example of uh, 
a front move is lang one. Lang one is actually the front move or alarm point of the lang, lang, right? Lang, mm. yes, yes, do. Okay. Kasi kasi ko ang sagot mo rent channel, walang front mo doon. Nasaan ang anong point sa spleen channel is a front move point. Front move point yan. What what you said, liver 13, it's the front move of the spleen. Ang ang, ang pinag-uusapan dito is um, what channel ang may front move point na located. So my question is, do you see a front move point along the spleen channel? Okay, let's go to, kasi pag sinabi mong liver 13, that's actually, ito na yung letter C. Liver 13, that's the front move of the spleen, you said. But mm -hmm. when you liver 14, the front view point of the liver, right? Okay, may to confuse you, madam. The gallbladder mm -hmm. channel. Meron. 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 See, no. no point. GB24. 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 Gallbladder channel. Yeah, what, 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 uh, what, 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 Gallbladder. Gallbladder. Are you sure? 25, kidney. Okay. Kidney, kidney. Lalo kami na nene. Are you sure? <laughs> Sige, review. Pati ako na, nalito na. Okay. Gallbladder 24. Gallbladder 24 is gallbladder. Gallbladder. Gallbladder, oh, yeah. Si Gallbladder 25... For the kidney. Kidney. Okay. For the kidney of front move point chart. Yeah. Okay. What what front move point is located behind? Not the front. Mm. Mm. Malayo -layo na si kidney, the gallbladder 25. Diba? So the REN channel, can you tell us? Is there a front move point located on the REN channel? Yes. Four. Tama, at saka ako. So, malikin po kayo, ma'am, Ami. Yes, doc, marami. Mm -mm. So, anong mali dito? Walang-walang front move. Spleen. Do you agree? Yes. Would you Spleen like to comment, ma'am? Um, letter B. Okay, letter B, there is no front move point there. But of course, meron tayong front move ng spleen. Okay, so, it's okay. Next question, Ma'am Ami. What Which of the following point is located to tune above the lateral superior border of the patella? Mm -hmm. Letter A is spin 10. Letter B is stomach 36. Letter C is stomach 34. Letter D is stomach 32. And letter E is gallbladder 31. What's I your choose... I choose stomach 34 or letter C. What? How do you classify stomach 34? Stomach, uh, stomach 34 is for acute gastric pain. No. Or swelling uh, pain of okay, the Okay, yeah, we know that. I categorize mo. Is it a yuan source? Is it a low connecting? Is it... Ganun dapat ang sagot natin, ha? Stomach 34 is also the C cleft point. Okay, of it is the, the C stomach. cleft point. Yeah. Very good. And yang <laughs> yang means stomach region of Okay. Um <laughs> so if you have stomach issues, especially when you have um ano ba to, tawag, yung umaakyat, okay, very you try to palpate stomach 34. You have to use stomach 34, okay? The sheet left point of the stomach. Very good. Number 14, Ma'am Ami. Which of the following point is stimulated when dealing with sore throat? Letter A is heart 9. Letter B is pericardium 9. Letter C is uh, lung 11. Letter D is small intestine 1. And letter 
E is kidney one. I choose lung 11 or letter C. Okay. This is basic, right? Yes. Have, honestly, Ma'am Ami, have you tried using this on your patients? Ngayon pa naman, uso ang sore throat. Yes, yes, Doc. Effective? Effective, Doc. <laughs> okay. Very kaya effective. <laughs> Sige, thank you. Let's go to number 15. Sakit nga lang. <laughs> Sakit na yan. Ay, ganito ha. Matatanggal ang init, Dok. Nadulo lang dahil ng hilalaki yan. Yeah. Hilalaki. Very effective. Number 15, Dok. The most effective point in reducing the high-grade fever, letter A is gallbladder 21, letter B is do 17, letter C is do 26, letter D is large institution, Large intestine 11 and letter E is do 15. I choose LI 11 though. Okay, very good. Very, very yeah. effective. Congratulations, Mama Ami. And Thank how do you, you classify LI 11? LI 4 is for relieving. No, 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 LI 11. Fever. This is the point for. Um, anong ano siya? Anong classification? PC, PC Earth po. Okay, no. the Husi PC point. Earth. Okay, Husi point. Mm -hmm. okay, very good. C point. Okay, thank you yeah. very much, Ma'am Ami. Let's now go thank to you. another one. Let's call on Ma'am. Ababa, lalaki naman. Let's call on Sir... Nawala yata si Anong. Biglang nawala si Sir Michael. O hindi ko lang malukit. Bigla na wala. Okay, let's call na lang on uh, Ma'am Angel. Ma'am Angel. Good evening po, Doc. Okay, good evening. Number 16 po. Mm -hmm. Which of the following statement is correct? Letter A. Liver 5 is a sheep cleft point. Letter B. Liver 6 is a jing river point. Letter C, liver 4 is a low connecting point. Letter D, liver 7 is a hashi point. And letter E, none of the above. The answer po sa number 16 is none of the above po. Okay. So, ibig sabihin mali lahat yung A, B, C, and D. Yes po. Can you correct it? Yung letter A po na liver 5 po hmm. is... Uh, liver 5 is ano po siya? Low connecting point po. Okay, low connecting point. Apo, low connecting point po. About Tapos liver yung liver 6 po. Liver 6 po is a uh, cleft point. Okay, and liver 4? Liver 4 po is um, jing river metal point po. And liver 7? Liver 7 po is liver 7. <laughs> hindi ko po makakasana. Well, hindi siya he'll see point, ha? Ah, po, hindi po. Anyone? Kasi sinabi mo wrong lahat, eh. So, bakit siya wrong? Apo. Lang 7, so, connecting. Okay, low connecting ang liver 7. 7 po. Yung ba? Ayan, low connecting ang liver 7. So, do you know the meaning of a luo connecting? Okay, I think you all know the meaning, right? So, you actually affect the uh, exteriorly, interiorly related organ. Are you sure it's luo connecting? Doctor, di po ba liver 5 yun? Luo connecting? Liver. Yeah. It's liver 5. Uh, liver 5 is the luo connecting. Luo connecting and liver 5. And liver 5. Okay, so ano si liver 7? Wala lang, di ba? Water siya. Water. Or water. <laughs> water point? Water point. Sure. Liver 7? Parang hindi yata. Liver 8. Wala, wala siyang kategory. Wala siyang classification. Wala man po siyang kategory. Okay. Nasa... So, memorize yun na ha. So, ang galing yun na talaga. Okay. okay. Let's continue, Ma'am Angel. Number 17. Number 17 po, the channel which abound in blood and have relatively less chi is 
A, Yang Ming and Tai Yang channels. B, Tai Yang and Jiken channels. C, Xiaoyang and Xiaoyin channels. D, Tai Yin and Xiaoyang channels. And E, none of the above. The answer po is B, Tai Yang and Jiken channel po. Ju Yin. Ju Yin. Ah, po, Ju Yin po, sorry. Hmm. Okay, let's go to number 18. 18 po. A, pres a prescription containing the point, do 14, urinary bladder 12 and lung 11 has an action of A, tonifying the yin of the lung, B, activating the and dispersing function of the lung to relieve the exterior symptoms, C, eliminating wind and soothing asthma, D, activating the function of the stomach and the spleen, and E, none of the above. The answer po is B, activating the, and activating the dispersing function of the lung to relieve the exterior symptoms. Okay. Um, can you tell us more about bladder 12? Kasi diba, like, okay, bakit mali po si A, tonifying the yin of the lung? So if you were the uh, clinician, what would wh why would you not choose, uh, if if you have lung yin deficiency, ano yung, ano yung aayusin mo? So syempre, pag may lung yin deficiency, you will think of heat. So definitely, um, Uh, that's the use of urinary brother 12 dog because that could strengthen the way chi okay yeah so you would want to use lung 9 mm -hmm. okay what about eliminating wind and soothing asthma bakit malisha to eliminate wind you would uh you would have used Li4 or Li11. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, use uh, gallbladder 20, right? Soothing asthma, that's not uh, the points that we use in Disha Maganda for asthma. And activating the function of the stomach and the spleen. If you want to activate the function of the stomach and the spleen, what would you want to use? Stomach and the spleen. Activate the stomach and the spleen. Stomach. And the baby not a favorite, not in a point. SG36 <laughs> and spleen six. You can also use <laughs> rate 12, right? Okay, very good. So, basic. So, dispersing function of the lung. Um, this is basically an exterior symptom. So, what else does the patient have? So, bucket ginamit to do 14. So, di ba, usually, pag uh, mainit yung pakiramdam, di ba, do 14. We use do 14, right? And uh, this is exterior. When you say exterior, there is both um, uh, aversion to cold and fever. Okay? Yun yun. Lung 11. Okay. Okay, but anyway. So yun na lang. Questions? Okay, let's go to number 19, Ma'am Angel. Number 19, Doc. Which of the following point is remarkable in its ability to invigorate the spleen, tonify kidney yin, and nourish the blood? A, kidney 3. B, ren 4. C, spleen 6. D, stomach 36. And E, kidney 6. The answer po is letter C, spleen 6 po. Do you know the meaning of Sun Yin Jiao? Sun is three. Tat, ano po, parang tatlong three. yin po, ganon? Oh, tatlong yin intersection. So you're talking about liver, kidney, and spleen. Okay, that's spleen six. Kaya invigorate the spleen, tonify kidney yin, nourish the blood. Kaya napaka favorite and spleen six. And last number, Mom Angel. Number 20. 
What is the total number of front mu point on the body bilateral point are counted as two points? A, 12, B, 15, C, 18, D, 21, and E, 24. The answer po is letter C, 20, uh, letter C 18 point. Okay. Can you enumerate? <laughs> uh, okay lang. Later na lang yan. Kasi that will be our topic sa Zoom. Okay, number Long 20. One. Thank you very much, Ma'am Angel. Let's go to... Thank you, um, Ay, oh, nga pala. Sinong gusto mag-recite? Mag uh, Ma'am Angel, would you like to recite the the front move points on the body? Front move points po, Doc. Mm -mm. Yung 12 front move points po is... Let's start with um, the... Saan po, Doc? Lung. Ano lang po, lang. lang. Apo. Di po masyadong kabisado eh. Lang one po. Okay. Front mo ng LI. Stomach 25. Ah, sige, let's call on ano. Ganito stomach ha. Stomach 25. Ay, okay, stomach 25. What about... The stomach. Um, CV12. CV12. CV12, yeah. What about the spleen? Liver 13. Liver 13. Galing. What about the the heart? Um, CV14. 14. 14. 14. What about the small intestine? Um, small intestine. TV four. <laughs> okay, ran four. Okay, so ano susunod na tanong? U U B C V three. <laughs> Galing, may murais. What amazing. Magadigit dong na rin magkasunod. <laughs> oh, oh nga. Okay, and what about uh, the kidney? GB25. Yeah. What else? Pericardium. Um, CB17. CB17. What about the gallbladder? Gallbladder um, 24. Yes. So, hindi lang 18? 18 po, doctor. Ah, 18 ba? Oh, sige, sige, continue. <laughs> sige, go. Okay. Well, po. So it's good to know that you're already very good at this. Okay, let's go now. Okay, thank you very much, Mom Angel. Let's call on Sir Michael. Nakangina pa excited. Okay. Sir Michael, 21 to 25. <laughs> Hello, Hello. Doctor. Hello. Hello. I'm in the province. Ay, wow. Uh, the sun is still dying. Are oh, you still driving? Do ko makama accident po. Okay, let's call na lang. Ah, uh, sige. I hope. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Um, yes. Um, let's see. Um, question number twenty-one. Uh, again, uh, according to the Chinese acupuncture and moxibustions, the back shoe point located below the spinous process. Absolutely punctual. 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 Okay. Uh, is it darkly, obliquely, or horizontally, subcutaneously? Subcutaneously. Subcutaneously. That means okay. underneath this. Okay. Underneath the skin. So, hmm. Most of the time, I practice the perpendicular. Okay. And I also go big. And somehow horizontal, yes. You but don't do perpendicular uh, back shoe, except for bladder 23. Yeah. Um, Another danger. So the, the answer, your answer is? My answer for this one is letter B. Obliquely. Okay. Uh, obliquely. It's for safety. Okay, uh, towards the midline or away from the midline? Away. 
Towards. 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 Ano ba yan? Uh, Sige, magpa-practicum na tayo dyan, mga June, ha? No, vital uh, organ uh, kasi ito sa box yun. Okay. Nako, nag-donate na si Dr. Webb sa atin ng ano, ha? Doon sa mga... Okay, anyway. Number 22. Number 22. The sick left points of the stomach channel is... Uh, the option is pain loss, S stomach 40, S stomach 41, Stomach 34, stomach 42, and it's stomach 43. The answer for this one is Lenzo, the stomach 34, Ben Mont here. Um, What's your answer? Uh, letter C, Bianchi, stomach 34. It's more on the knee, a uh, gastric pain with motor impairment, most likely. Liang yeah. Oh, stomach 34. Saan location in stomach 34? Uh, is in the knee, point of tukun above the platoros, platoros superior, body of the patella. Platoros superior, okay. Lateral. Very good. <laughs> oh, di ba, tandaan nyo yan. Ang ganda-ganda niyan, as in. Number 23. Uh, number 23. If to the following point, it takes C cleft point, except... Mm -hmm. Uh, A, Gongsos, Spleen 4. Uh, B, uh, Ganito pag-pronounce ng ano ha? Gongsi? Hindi, ganito. Nung Spleen 4. Kung Sun. Ganon, may sound. Kung Sun. Kung Sun. May sound. Kung Sun. Okay. Di ba, Lynn? Mamaya na. Pag sanay na tayo sa mga points. Okay. So, ano dito ang hindi shake left point? Ang the shake left point for this one is Gunsun. Gunsun? It's a low connection point. Hindi. Gunsun. Kung. K. Gunsun. Gunsun. Okay. It's a connecting point. Uh, uh, Dr. connecting point. Okay. Yes. Number 24. Uh, this one, uh, which the following point is not left points. Mm. Uh, bladder 59, letter C, kidney 8, letter C, uh, young gear. Young gear, because Wag mo na i-ano yung Chinese. Kakahiya pa sa ating mga kamamay may nanonood from China. Galbladder 38, Galbladder 38, and Kidney 9. My answer for this question is letter D. So what's your answer? Letter D. Kidney 8. Kidney 8. Gallbladder 38 po. A gallbladder 38. So kung hindi yes. she cleft point si GB 38, what is it then? Mm. <laughs> ano yun? Nakita ko na yun eh. Memorize it... nyo ha. One of the five shoe points. Uh, uh -oh. River. King River. Ganun pag memorize natin na yung kawin yung ritual yan. Pag hindi ganyan, okay. So far, we have tackled the five shoe points, Yuan Force, Duo Connecting, Sheik Left, and next, after next week, Back Shoe, Front Move, Hue, okay, whatever. Next, number 25. Number 25, what is the principle of reinforcing the mother point of the deep, the deficiency, the deficient syndromes, which is the following points is the best selections for treating a deficient syndromes of the kidney. So we're talking about the kidney problem. Uh -huh. um, possible problem is edema. Mm. Uh, letter A, uh, kidney A, kidney 1, kidney, letter B, kidney 2, kidney 3, uh, kidney 7, kidney 10. 
okay. or specific for kidney problem. Mm. Bigyan ko lang sample, uh, Dr. Hector. Yung so, ibig sabihin ganito, you will be looking at the mother the mother point for kidney. So, big sabihin, kidney water. So, you should be looking at the the metal metal point of the kidney. Yes, po. So, mm -hmm. so, letter D po, Dr. Hector. Polyen. Polio. 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 Okay. Polio. 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 Okay. Congratulations, Sir Michael. Yes, thank you for the... Okay, let's now call on Mom Lane Arandia. I hope she's okay now. Mom Lane, good evening. Can you answer 26 to 30? Hello. Uh, number 26. I'll try. Go for. Number 26, according to the principle of reinforcing the mother point for a deficient syndrome, which of the following points is the best selection for treating a deficient syndrome of the liver? Um, so, anong principle mo dito, Ma'am Lane? So, deficiency of the liver. Sino ba yung mother? Okay, anong element si liver? Ang element po ni liver is wood. So, sino po yung mother ng wood? Ang mother po ni wood uh, si water po. So, you will be looking at the water point of the of the liver, liver A. Liver, liver. No, no, no. Yung mother kasi ni liver si kidney. So, okay. uh, hanapin mo ngayon si kidney 10 water, po point, water point ng kidney. Kidney 10. Okay, very good. <laughs> so, ngayon alam nyo na. Ha? Okay, 27. 5 uh, elements pa din. According to the principle of reducing the sun point for an excess syndrome, which of the following points is the best selection for treating an excess syndrome of the gallbladder? Okay, analyze. Gallbladder is what element? A uh, gallbladder, ang element niya po ay wood. Sino po yung i-sedate natin? Yung sun. anak niya. Yung so, anak niya. This, the... Sino ba yung uh, sunny gallbladder? Ang sun niya po ay si fire. Okay. So what's your fire answer? With the fire. So we'll be looking at the fire point of the gallbladder. Ano po? Si GB... GB30. GB38 ko so. Wait lang ha. Analyze nyo. W what happens when you have excess syndrome? Um, in... Isisidate nyo po yung sisang. So, anong point ang gagamitin natin? GB38. GB38. Why? Anong classification ni GB38? Saan po siya ni, ano, ni, ni Garblado? Anong classification ni GB38? Fire po siya sa Jing River. Jing River? So ilalagay mo siya sa ano? Kasi pag sinabi mo excess syndrome ng gallbladder, that's actually too much heat. 
to Machiang. Okay? So water, ano siya? Pero anyway, nakaka, okay, whatever. So Jing River, G, GB38. Let's go now to number 28. Uh, number 28, according to the principle of reducing the sun point for an excess syndrome, which of the following following points is the best selection for treating an excess syndrome of the heart? A, heart 9, B, heart 8, C, heart 7, uh, D, it, heart 4, E, heart 3. Um, my answer, Doc, is heart 7. Okay, very good. Number 29. Uh, number 29, according to the theory of the five elements, all the following points belong to metal except L, uh, Li5, letter B, SJ1, uh, letter C, SD45, B, lang A, uh, E, liver 4. Uh, my answer po is uh, Li5. Ano po siya? Anong element siya? Large intestine po siya. Um, large ano intestine. Siya? The first uh, point, Li1 would be metal. Metal. So, ano po ito siya? Ika-fourth, di ba? Fourth ba? One, two, three, four. Fire. 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 Okay, fire. Fire. Siya. Okay, number 30. Oh, master nyo um, na yung mga points, ha? Number 30, all the following points are the loop connecting points except A, LI6, B, uh, Spin 7, 6, Tomac 40, D, Bladder 58, E, uh, Red Bladder 37. Uh, my answer is uh, letter B. Okay, anong classification is Spin 7? Uh, screen 7, wait lang. Wala lang. Wala siya. Ay. <laughs> wala Ay, siya. Yung po yung kanila. Oh. Okay, wala wala po. Oh, okay, wala, wala, wala siya. So ngayon, alam niyo na mga luo connecting, ha? LI6, stomach 40. So ibig sabihin, when you use stomach 40, you're actually affecting the spleen. No? Stomach 40 is very popular for phlegm. So, pag ninidol mo si stomach 40, you're actually going to impact or, you know, improve the spleen. So, yung kanyang partner na yin. The same thing with bladder 58. Kaya napakaganda ni bladder 58. Bladder 58, you're actually affecting the kidney. No? Okay. So, and so is gallbladder 37, ina-affect mo si liver. Okay? Thank you very much, Ma'am Lane. Thank Let's now go to Ma'am Annaline de Asis. Tapos ka na sa patient? Yes po. 31 to 35. Number 31. All the following points are front mo points except letter C po, yung REN6 kasi siya yung U1 channel or conception vessel. vessel. So letter C sa number 31. Okay, si Ren 3, front mo siya ng ano? Yung ano, yung Ren 3, front mo points po yun for bladder. Wow, ang galing. Si Ren, mm -hmm. si GB25. For kidney naman po siya. GB24. Yung for gallbladder and yung Ren 6, Ren 5 is for Sanjao. Sanjao. Okay. Opo. Okay, when do you usually use REN6? So ano siya po? For conception vessel siya. So, abdominal pain? Oo, oh, oh, pwede. Abdominal pain po. So, may, mayroon mga dysmenorrhea. Ayan. Maganda siya for chi and yang. Kidney chi and yang. Constipated. Constipated. Oh. Cons Oo. Oh, oh. Okay, um, uh, extension. Let's go to number 32. Which of the following points is the front move point for the pericardium? So it's REN 17, Tan Zong. Wow. What about long one? Uh-huh. Uh, Pangino siyang front. 
lang. Dali po. Ay, bakit na ulit Sad itong po. 1013? May repetition, no? Okay, let's go to number 3. Opo. For number 33, which of the following points is the best selection for treating diarrhea caused by the deficiency of the kidney yang? Yung do, do for po. The main main point. Why? What happens like, uh, ano ba yung time ng ano? Okay, have you heard of Coxcrow diarrhea? Pag alas 5, natatapunan nag uh, the, the diarrhea anong time Opo. by 5 to 7 a.m. that's for the Opo. okay when yung time na mahina na masyado yung kidney di ba yung kidney In morning so kung mahina yung kidney yang mo tatai ko talaga tatai ha although it's although you can you can move no? oh, mapapaihi yes um meron tayong diarrhea secondary to kidney yang deficiency so, ibig sabihin, malamig yung pakiramdam niya. Diyan natatai siya pa agad. Kasi ito yung time na mahina na yung kidney. So, why will you use do for? Because do for is the mingman. No? Oo, oh, yeah. yun. Yung mga nag-iihi. Na young, okay. So, yun. You use do for in oh, oh. 23. Next, number 34. In treating a cough caused by damp phlegm, which of the following points should be punk, uh, punctured, punctured in addition to feng su? Bladder so, or bladder 13. Uh, stomach 40 po and lung 5. So that's feng lung and chai zi, letter C. Very good. So this is also very common, especially in Number 35, last question. In treating a cough caused by the lung being attacked by liver fire, which of the following prescriptions is the best selection? So, yung the best selection po would be the bladder 13, the lung 5, liver 3, and liver 2. That's letter B. So, so kap using oh, po, kap liver and then ito tonify okay. yung lung then opo then the blood uh, bladder 13 yeah, for chronic issues diba okay very good okay thank you very much po ma'am anali yeah. thank you po anali next we call on ready na ba si ano si sir po ba yung di natatawag ma'am crisanta Ni patient pa. Okay. Please read the next question. Puncture at the point REN 12, stomach 36, pericardium 6, heart 7, spleen 6 is open use to the treat insomnia caused by A deficiency of the heart and the spleen. Yan po yung sagot ko. A, deficiency po siya ng heart at sa anong spleen. Okay. Alin point po dito? Hmm. That's your answer? A. Okay. REN 12, stomach 36, PC 6. Shunman, Lin 6. Okay, uh, correct answer is letter A. Deficiency of the heart and spleen. Bakit mali itong letter B? Up the heart, resulting for the deficiency of the heart. Hindi naman po siya, no, sir. May Hindi fire po siya. Okay, karamihan kasi ng mga ano, ito talaga, no? Like, um, syempre, pag mahina ang spleen, mahina din yung heart. Hindi ka makakagawa ng chi, anang 
Ano ba to? Di ba? Walang chi eh. So, hindi magpapump Walang... heart. So, magkakaroon ka ng blood deficiency of the heart. So, spleen chi deficiency. So, may error lang doon sa pinadala ko ha. So, medyo... Yeah, congratulations, Ma'am Crisanta. The correct answer is letter A. Very common po yan na cause ng insomnia. Number 7, uh, 37 po. The best point of the treatment of insomnia are... Wait there. Isa-isahin natin. Uh, bladder 20, bladder, bladder 15, spleen 1, okay. okay. B, bladder 15. Bakit hindi mo gag... Ah, anong sagot mo rito, oh. ma madam? Insomnia po... Uh, kanina po kasi, insomnia din po yung ano ko. Yung po, E, heart 7, spleen 6, saka po... Ano yan? Ano yan? Yun po ang hindi ko alam yung extra na yun. Sorry po. Do you remember where Pero yun po sagot... is located? Last minute, sabi ko pa na makikita. Yun ba parang sa likod ng tenga, tapos you feel that bony prominence there, the mastoid process? Mm -hmm. I-massage mo siya for 2 to 3 minutes, napaka-effective. That's an extra point. Heart 7 is effective. Spleen 6, yin. Liver, kidney, and no. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's go to number 38. Apart from bladder 13, liver 1, liver 7, oh, which of the lung five one, points? Lung 1, lung 1, yan. Lung 1, lung 7, which of the following points? Would you consider the main point to treat half due to the deficiency of lung yin? Ito po, guess lang po. Lung 10. Lung 10. Are you sure? Di ba lung 10 is one of the five shoe? Ano yan eh, di ba? Uh, Ying Spring? Mm -hmm. uh, remember, gagamit ka ng Bladder 13, Lung 1, and Lung 7. Ano bang pinakamaganda for treating Lung Yin deficiency? Ano sir, pag po yan yung inaano ko, ang pinatutusukan po sa akin ni Dr. Gab, ano, Kidney 3. Kidney 3. Bakit daw? Hindi po niya sa akin nasabi eh. Kidney 3 is the yuan source point ng kidney. Kasi po pag may client kami sa paay na may ano po, na may cow. Kasama si kidney 3 sa nilalagyan ng ano points. Sorry po sir, hindi ko po alam po eh. Kidney 3 is the yuan source. Kung sa bagay, effective naman si kidney 3. Kaya lang yung ano kasi dito, uh, base sa uh, kaso natin. So, ginamit yung bladder 13, lung 1. So, definitely you have a very, uh, uh, ano to? You definitely have a chronic problem and also lung 7. Okay? Um... Sino ba yung ano? Sino ba yung magno-nourish kay Lang Yin? Anyone? Sino ba yung mother po ni ni, ni Lang? Ay, sino yung <laughs> Ano yung ayusin mo? Kasi pag kulang ka ng Lang Yin, uh, uh, kulang ng Yin. Did you ever what uh Yen. Anybody can say something about kidney 6? Ano nabasa nyo sa kidney 6? Kidney 6 pala yun. 
it means six G is abundant as as C. For depression, kasi C abundant. Ang kidney C. That's for ano nor to nourish the kidney yin. But can we say na ang kidney yin may kinalaman din bakit naging deficient si lung yin? Okay, ganito ha. Alam nyo ba na ang kidney is responsible for um, keeping your skin moist? Kidney yin. Okay, based sa ating answer, it's let a kidney six. Okay? Okay, sige, pending na lang to. For uh, Okay, according kay Ma'am Crisanta, she would use kidney 3, but she doesn't know the reason why. No, Actually, kidney 3 is the yuan source point ng kidney. Pwede na naman. Kaya lang, gumamit na kasi po tayo ng lung 1, lung 7. Kung gagamitan pa natin ng lung 5, lung 9, lung 10, mukhang so sobrang dami naman. So we would be... We would be. Ah, uh, Doc. I th yes, Doc. Uh, I think it's kidney six. Yeah. Kasi po, uh, kidney six also has a strong connection to the heart. And I yes. think that's true. Very true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kasi, thank ano, you, Doc. Thank you very much. So it should be kidney six. Okay. 39. Tapusin na, Ma'am Prisanta. 39. Hanggang 40. Lang 11 can be selected as a supplementary point. Combined by. Very popular yan si Lang 11. Gumamit kayo ng ano, LPS, E L I P E A S. Hindi siya masakit. Although masakit siya talaga, pero not as painful. <clears throat> Okay, cough accompanied by what? Fever, aversion to cold. Sore throat. Or the throat. Sore throat or pain and swelling of the throat, diba? Yes, oh. po. So letter C. Okay, last number, number 40, Ma'am Crisanta. The following point, would you select to treat a patient with cough who is Splitting blood or even coughing blood. Your blood. Uh, lung uh, six, lung okay. bladder seven. Kasi bladder 17, mga blood issues, di ba? Mm -hmm. Bakit si lung six? Anong classification ni lung six? She cleft. She cleft. She cleft. Okay. Di ba? Pag may blood. Okay. So now you know what to do. And then medyo umiwas kayo, baka may TB. Okay? O tapos naduraan pa kayo ng dugo. Okay. Next. Uh, thank you very much, Ma'am uh, Crisanta. Good job. Now let's go to the next one. Tawagan naman natin yung mga medyo tahimik. Sir Herbert Aguirre. Would you like to try? 41 to 45. Sir Herbert. Tulog na yata si Sir Herbert. Okay, balik tayo kay uh, Sir Leo. Sir, number 41. 45, yes. Which, which of the following points is the principal point for the treatment of asthma? Uh, B13, sir. Okay, why? Because asthma is a chronic thing, di ba? So, pag uh, box you points, yun ang ginagamit natin pag medyo chronic na yung problem. Kaya, yes, sir. Sir, B13 po kasi ang box you nun lang. Yes, yes. That's why uh, we focus on the box you, especially mga chronic cases. This is where your EA, electroacupuncture, comes in very useful. Thank you, Paul. Number 42, Sir Leo. 
Sir, number 42, which of the following points have been proved uh, effective in resuscitation? Um, sir, ayun, K1, do 26. Okay. Alam nyo na ano gagawin na kung sinipa kayo, so that means sitting na yung pasyente. Or sinuntok kayo, do 26. So, do 26 in kidney mo. Masakit yan. Hayaan ko na lang. Pagising yung pasyente mo. Next, number 40. Oh, okay. Ito naman. I think you know how to go about this. It's like para matching. 43. Each question contains a group of options that are followed by a series of questions. So, for each question in a series, select the answer you consider to be correct. An answer may be chosen several times or not at all. So, um, a, a disorder of son affecting the mother. B, a disorder of mother affecting the son. So number 43, if the lung is affected by a disorder of the spleen, mm -hmm. the disease is known as, okay, son is uh, lung tapos spleen. So yung lung and spleen. Okay. Metal at saka Ano na una dito? Di ba nauna ang spleen? Tapos sumunod si lung. So anong ano to? Anong 5 sure, out? And... Uh -oh. Sure, yung spleen spleen po kasi it should nourish dapat yung yung lung kasi earth tapos metal. So... Okay. So if the spleen is affected first tapos na apektuhan si lung Anong klaseng ano yan? Is it the son affecting the mother or the mother affecting the son? Sir, it is the mother affecting the son. Okay, so answer is letter B. What about number yes. 44? So, uh, sir, if the lung is affected by a disorder of the kidney, so lung disorder of the kidney, Uh, metal to water. Sir, yung A naman po, disorder of the sun affecting the mother. Galing nyo na talaga. Congratulations. So baka gusto mo na rin 45 and 46. Uh, uh, by the way, shoe is excess. Ah, no, sorry. Shoe is deficiency. Deficient. She yes. is excess. Is excess. Okay. Yes. So 45 uh, A, reinforce the mother for shoe syndrome. B, reduce the son for she syndrome. Uh, reduce, reinforce. Ah, basic rule. So, and then C is both A and B, and D is neither A nor B. So, number 45. Mm -hmm. uh, the basic principle of treatment according to relationship of overacting. Sir, patho pathologic yan eh. So, wala. Wala po. So, letter E. Neither A e. 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 yes. or B. Okay. Sir, and kasi sabi niyo po kanina, that one is pathologic. So, hindi siya kasama. Sir, that was 46. The basic principle for treating deficiency of kidney yin. Uh, sir, hindi ko pumabasa yun. Sa ilalim niya. Hi, uh, the basic principle for treating deficiency of kidney yin. Kidney yin. Analyze ko yung question na um, kidney yin deficiency um, and hyperactivity of heart fire. Anong kulay ng dila dito? Red. Oh. Will will any of the principle apply? Um, sir, parang sir, parang hindi rin. Neither hindi A nor B. So puro D. Okay. Papa. <laughs> so kung ikaw yung gagamot, ang mag mag treat, ano gagawin mo? Sir, ah, uh, pagka kidney deficiency po ng kidney yin. So, uh, 
Okay, pagka deficiency po, ito tonify ko yung mother. Since kidney yung yung problem, yin. So, ang horary point ko would be no, no, uh, no. kidney 10. Okay. So, ang ang mother point ko, oh, wait, sara. So, kidney yin deficiency. Na. Ito tonify ko yung mother, sir. Kidney 7. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um... Do you do you have a mother and son relationship here, kidney and uh, fire? No. No. Oh no. no. Okay. Wala po eh, kasi kidney is basically water. Okay. So neither A nor B. Yes. Okay. Thank neither you. A nor B. Thank you very yes, much. Sir. Let's now call yes, on Doctor Sam. Para matapos na tayo, then we proceed to part two. 47 to 48. Okay. okay. Uh, the answer is the front view point of the urinary bladder, the back shoe and front view points of kidney. Okay. The question is 47 in treating nocturnal enuresis. Yeah, nocturnal is... In treating nocturnal neurosis, these are the main points for tonification of the kidney chi. Uh, tonification of the kidney chi. So that's going to be... Hold on. Front mu point of the urinary bladder, the back show, front mu points the kidney and the back show. So parehas po ito, ang A at saka B. Ito okay. po siya. Uh, yes, so it's both A and B. B. Yeah, A and B po yan, Doc. It's letter C. So you will use both front mu and back show of the urinary bladder and the front mu and back show of the kidney. Very good. Yes, Doc. Uh -huh. Number 48. So, 48 in treating retention of urine. Ito, ibang case ito. Retention of urine should be chosen as the main points uh, the main points in accordance with the principle of treating acute symptoms. So, pag acute symptoms, and we are talking about retention of urine, mm -hmm. so, that's gonna be, hold on, take a, uh, for Acute, what do you rather use? What would you rather use? Front mu or back shoe? Pag acute, doc, uh, that's gonna be mm, front mu. Okay. Front mu point the urinary so your bladder. answer is? Letter A. What's the front mu of the urinary bladder? Uh, urinary bladder, the front mu. Uh, mu. <laughs> Sorry, nasana ako sa engineering, doc. Eh. Uh, <laughs> urin... <laughs> A <laughs> uh, urinary bladder, front view ng urinary bladder. Teka, ano ba ba? Uh, Minention yun ni Ma'am Annalyn kanina, memorize. Uh, I think it's trend 3. Yeah, very good. So now you know what to do. Pag merong retention of urine, marami tayong matutulungan. Okay, very good. Let's go to number 49 and 50. Okay, 49 and 50. 49 is... Uh, the treatment of hypochondria pain due to excess syndrome. So, hold on. Using back shoe points and points in the liver channel as main point in suitable for. Uh, using piliform needles within women. Uh, parang ano wala, wala, wala dito, Dok. Eh. Parang ano? It's neither A nor B. Okay. Well, what do you do when excess? Would well, you be considering the back shoe or only the front move? Ah, uh, kung back shoe, though. Excess lang naman excess yan. Pwede in... na. Oh. Kung ano kasi, kung chronic or something ano na, in advanced stage na. Kagamit you, na tayo. When you talk about excess, mm -hmm. if, uh, like it can also mean acute eh. Mm -hmm. Okay, and mm -hmm. usually, pag uh, chronic, it's deficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay, so major relative yan. So ngayon, your the condition is uh, hypochondriac pain. The problem is mm -hmm. 
hypochondria pain. Okay. Dito so, po sa... Sabi mo, you will not be using um the back shoe points mm. on, the, on the liver channel because uh, this is very excess. This is very acute. Mm. Okay. So we we would rather use something that is uh, uh, we we would use front move. Okay, bucket uh, might be move. letter B because when you mm. have an excess syndrome, you have to sedate, you have to reduce. Sedate, yes. Oh. Okay, you have to drain. Pareho lang mm. term siya, reduce, drain, and ano. So when we meet for the practicum, you have to, we will teach you or probably, um, you know, you have to tell us how to needle, how to do reinforcement, how to do sedation, mm. and when do you, like, yung mga ganon. Pati yung kailan mo siya itutusok, will you, will you insert it after, yung mga ganon mm. ha, reinforce it. Mm. So we hope to schedule that by June. But anyway, yeah. pag natapos natin, kasi we only have three weeks for module one, we will immediately proceed to module two. Para medyo, when we meet, medyo may alam tayo sa diagnostics. Okay. Yes. What's your answer for number 50? Uh, number 50, uh, the treatment of hypochondria pain due to deficiency, deficiency syndrome na po ito. So we can actually use... Uh, a, you see the back shoot points and the points in the liver channel as main points. It's suitable for. And B, po, pwede din natin gamitin. So, Even. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, pwede po itong dalawa. Okay. Thank you very much, Sir uh, Dr. Sam. Would you like to continue with 51 and uh, 52? Sige daw. Now, this which one the... is your Morse type? Now you know how this goes. Answer mm. A, if 1, 2, and 3 are correct. Letter B, if 1 and 3. C, if 2 and 4. D, if only 4 is correct. And letter E, if all are correct. Okay. okay. Dr. Sam, go ahead. Okay, so which of the following relations belong to interpromoting between uh, the elements? So 1 is wood to fire. So this is interpromoting. Then fire to water, no, it's earth to metal. And then no, it's the answer is one and three. Okay. So that's that's gonna be ano nga ba yun, Doc? <laughs> one. Uh, uh, inter promoting or generating. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean A ba yung dalawa, one and three ang answer ko. Yeah, B. uh A. Oh, no, sorry, B. B. The answer is okay. B. One and uh -huh. three. Thank you. Uh, three. So, so number two. Okay. <laughs> uh, 52. 52. 52. Sorry. Uh, which of the following relations belong to interacting? So this is interacting between uh, uh, between different elements. So tingnan natin yung interacting. Actually, hindi pa ako familiar masyado sa interacting. But let's try. So water to wood. Uh, hindi. Fire to metal, yes. And then earth to water, yes. And then wood to... No. It's fire to metal and then earth to water. Two and three yung aking sagot. Two and three ba? <laughs> Interacting eh. Di ba? Uh, earth to... Hold on. Yeah, earth to water. So that is interacting in the overacting. And then yeah. fire. So, wala to... choice na two, three, and four. Actually, mali itong question eh. Oh, so it's like grandma, grandson, no? Mm. So, ah, okay. <laughs> oh, so mali <laughs> pala. So, but you can answer two and four or two, three, and four. Uh, Thank you two, very three, much, yeah. Dr. Sam. I hope you had fun. Yes. Okay. From 53 to 58, let's call on Mam Ma Ami. Are you excited? Yes, Doc. Okay. Uh, number 53. Mm -hmm. 53, Doc. Which of yeah. the following have interpromoting relationship? Number one is the kidney and the heart. Number two, the spleen and lung. Number three is the liver and spleen. Number four is kidney and liver. My answer, Doc, generating. is... Ano yung answer nyo? 
letter uh, number two and number four. Very good. Interpromoting. Very easy, no? Now yes, let's go to 54. Yes, no. Interacting. Number 54. Which of the following have interacting relationship? Number one, the liver and spleen. Number two, the spleen and lung. Number three, the heart and lung. And number four, the kidney and liver. My answer, Doc, is one and three. Very good. So now you know what is interacting. Congratulations. Tapusin nyo na, Ma'am Ami, para matapos sa tayo. Number 55. According to the theory of the five elements, the clinical manifestations belong to the liver. Include, number one, easy to, to be angry. Number two, bitter taste in the mouth. Number three, very false and number Fine. four is pain. The answer is uh, letter let a uh, number one and number three. Very good. Can you know the bitter is taste letter in B. the mouth? Yes, doc. Ang bitter, bitter is heart. Heart. Ang bitter heart. Heart. Okay, pero sa bitter actual... Bitter for liver. For liver po, is bitter for liver. Yeah, okay. So, okay, one and diba? three. Okay, number 56. Number 56. Which of the following problem are the are due to counteracting among the five elements? Uh, uh, number one, stagnation of the liver chi, which is attack the spleen. Number two, transmission of heart fire. Yeah. Ah, sige, sige. Continue, please. So, sorry. Sorry about Number two, transmission of heart fire to the small intestine. Number three, failure of the kidney to support the liver. And number four is attack of the lungs by the liver, liver fire. So, what's your answer? So, the counteracting... Or insulting. Insulting a uh, number. Attack a uh, number four. Attack of attack of the lung by liver fire. Okay. So this is also very popular, huh? So practice nino, you should always consider this. Especially pag ano, biglang hinika, you should always check the liver, check for liver fire. Okay, thank you po. Number 57, we're almost according, done. According to the theory of the five elements, the point belongs to metal include number one, lang. Lung 11, number 2, large intestine 1, number 3, stomach 44, and number 4 is heart 4. Okay. Letter... Letter C. So 2 and 4? Yes, Doc. L-I-1 and heart 4. Very good. Very and the last one... Okay. According to the principle of enforcing the mother, which of the following method can be selected? Number one, reinforcing the kidney to reinforce the liver. Number two, reinforcing the kidney and heart. Number three, reinforcing the earth to strength, strength the man is moving liver chi to help the spleen. So your answer? The answer are one and three. One and three. Okay. Any comments? One and three, again? which is letter B. Letter B, mother and son jury. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Ma'am Ami, and congratulations. Thank you, Doc. Okay. Now we go thank to you. your assignment. Oh, ito. Basic to, ha? Let's call on... Sir Michael, for your basic health training. 
Which of the following allows you to feel different sensations? Mm. Pain? <laughs> huh? Nerve. 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 Different sensations. Nerve. Nerve. C nerve. You only have one answer. Nerve. Letter C nerve. Oh, sige. Yeah. Ano na lang tayo, chorus, ha? Kung sino yung may... Yes, sa chorus na lang. Ako. Which of the following brings oxygenated blood from the heart? Artery. 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 Oh, basic artery. artery. Okay. Away. No, okay. A. Mm. Which of the following will cause a punctured needle to pulsate? B. Artery. 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 Pag natamaan mo ba yung artery, will it cause <laughs> pulsation? Okay. Using pa lang yun, sir. Using of, of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Anong answer? B. Artery, masakit. Mag-aano ka, mabubugbog pag natamaan mo yung artery. Hindi na. Oh, but for the vein, there is no... Magpapansay. Which of the following connects muscles to bones? Tendon. Which of the following connects bones to bones? Ligament. Ligament. Which of the following is devoid of nerves? And has Cartilage. 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 Basic. Next. Arrange the steps in the biological organization in sequence. Yung mga may pinag-alam nyo. Alam nyo, or... dapat alam nyo to. Cell, tissue, organ system. Okay, very simple. Very good. <laughs> now, ito. Ano yung ginagawa ng bata? <laughs> Elevation. Lubunda. 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 Ito yung position ng ano, ng leg. Ah, nakadorsiflexion. Dorsiflexion, Doc. Okay, flexion. That's flexion. Dorsiflexion. Pwede ba natin sabihin elevation? Elevation? Nakaangat kasi, Doc. Parang nahuhulog, Doc. Flexion. Flexion. Oh, flexion. Plantar flexion ba siya? Paano ba plantar flexion? Ba, hindi naman nagplantar flexion. Tapos na yung palmar niya naka-flexion din. Okay. Next. Ito. Anong ginawa niya sa kanyang mga... Yung kanyang... Panalo, karate kito. <laughs> yes. Ano yan? <laughs> Anong ginawa niya? Adduction. Adduction. Adduction ng left knee. No. Did you also do extension? Yeah. No, depression. I know. Extension. This is depression. Extension. Did you do retraction? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng retraction sa protraction? Uh, uh, protraction moving forward retraction okay. moving backward okay did he do that here uh, yeah. partly na konti doctor sa lumbar okay Area. gumawa ba siya ng palmar flexion uh, yes okay ang galing what about plantar flexion uh, doctor yung kanyang right Right, foot. left foot. Left, left yan. Left po, naka-plant. Ah, left po ba yan? Okay, okay. Okay nga pala. Oh, left, left. Okay, so ang galing-galing yun na pala dito. Left. Okay. Ito, so, Pacquiao. Uy, panala si Pacquiao. Extension. 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 
Extension mm-hmm. pronunciation. Extension. Extension. Ano ba ginawa niya? Extension. Extension of flexion. Flexion, extension. Pero hindi siyang flexion, di ba? Opo, oh, flexion, tapos nag-pronate. Flexion. Para makasuntok. Tapos nag-pronate. Ano? Pronate. Protract. Protract. Protraction. What about itong isa, yung sinuntok niya? Ah, nag-flex. 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 <laughs> okay. Ayun, no! It's okay. Thanks. Ito, ano ginagawa niya? Celebration. Pag ganito siya. Ayan, nag-hangin. Tapos ang aki niya, masunod man, maganyan man. Reflection din. Ang mama paduman. Ang aki niya, masunod man, paduman. Nag-dorsiflection ba siya? Dorsi. Naglaba ka ka na? Dorsiflection. Dorsiflection. Opo, yung ano niya, yung tips niya. Okay, supination, hindi naman siya nakahiga, di ba? Pronation. Is that pronation? Pronation. Okay. Pronation na pa. Reflection ba siya? Reflection. Yes. Opo, meron. Ano po daw? Reflection. Yung ano po? Yung shoulder. Nakahang siya. Nakaflection yung shoulder? Hindi po. Nag-adduction. Nagkaroon po ng adduction. 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 Nagkaroon ng adduction. Siya. Pero wala namang adduction. Pero hawak-hawak ng isa yung ano, kamay at saka yung paa. May flexion nga din dun sa niyo. Meron po na adduction. Kailangan niyo mag-adduction para mag-balance. Opo. Adduction. No. Or si flexion. Ay, yung braso niya sa kasarili. Nagkaroon ba ng eversion? Inversion? Inversion? Wala. No. Wala po. Okay, next. We go to... Uh, o, oh, ito. Yung position ah. ng mole. Pronation. And location. Ng <laughs> yung pronation. Yung mole. Yung location. Nasaan? Yan po yung pronation. Mole? Yung mole, yung ano dito ha? Yung mole niya. Ano siya? Uh, superior or inferior? <laughs> Is it your with respect to ano? With respect to the midline. Midline. Mid midyal. Pronation ah. and extension. Pronation extension and. Kung okay. pwedeng gamitin ng ipsilateral o contralateral kung wala kang comparison, di ba? Mm-hmm. So isa lang eh, isa lang yung mole niya. Mm-hmm. So ano yung distal? Um, lateral palayo optimal, lateral okay lateral, lateral. to the midline lateral yeah. to the filtrum oh ito <laughs> lateral to <laughs> the <Binatawa>. nose <laughs> ano ay nanal oh kung nanal po ba nanal yung nanal palapit po palapit na lang ba? palapit sa center uh, yes. nasa ano po siya Nasa imperial ba? Proximal? Hindi naman. Hindi po. Lateral. Yung tonal po is medial as compared to the ear. Medial. Kanina lateral. Okay. Now, ito. Yung nunal po ulit? Yes. Yung itin siya. Nasa baba na po. Proximal or distal? Hindi mo pwedeng lateral kasi wala kang tinocompare. Distal. 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 Malapit ko sa kilikili. No. Hindi, proximal yan daw. Proximal po, pinakamalapit sa duktungan. Okay, explain mo to understand. Bakit proximal? Okay, proximal is... Nakamalapit pa sa duktungan ng katawan. Wait lang, wait lang. Sige, Dr. Sam. Proximal yan kasi going to the body. Hindi siya going out. So that is uh, proximal. proximal. Distal kasi it's going away from the body. Okay na. Yes. Proximal. Okay, let's go next. Oh, ito, dalawa na yan. <laughs> side by side, lateral. Ipsilateral. 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 Same side. Tatlo pala. Oh. Nasa, in, nasa inferior po sa ilalim. <laughs> inferior sa si ibabaw. Ano? Okay na. It's lateral. Okay, next. So, nunal, nunal A is 
Ipa-testing ko na lang yan. Words out ah, yan eh. Okay. Ano <laughs> ang precision ni A compared kay B? Midjal. Huh? Superior pa si A. Si Imperial naman si B. Ano ba to? Nasa front o nasa back? Gilid. Nasa gilid. Nasa gilid. Si Imperial pa sa baba. Ano? Imperial pa si B. A saka si B. Ano si A in relation kay B? Superior or inferior? Superior. Superior. Mas mababa. Okay. Next. Yaan. Yaan. Malikot ang kamay. May nanat. Nanunat sa kamay. Medial. Bakit naging medial? Okay. Pag nag-aaral na tayo ng hand acupuncture, ang medial, yung sa gitna ng middle finger. Haatiin mo yan. So, nakita niyo yung middle finger, yung dirty finger, okay? Uh, yung papunta doon sa ano, papunta sa, ano ba to? Sa thumb. Sa hinlili. That's the right, the right, right, right. The right arm. Right, right hand. Right hand, okay. So, um, if you consider the midline of the middle finger as the center, mm -hmm. ano ang location ngayon ni ano? Uh, yung thumb away from you yan. So, ano to? Medial or lateral? Medial. Lateral. Med medial. Medial away from you. Know, medial. And is it proximal or distal? Uh, distal. 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 Okay. Very good. Nako. Ay, tapos na pala. Doctor, are, are we ano din po? Referring using the yung anatomical position are we also following that one in TCM? Yes. Okay. Actually, the reason why we do uh, anatomical position is you, you know, when you treat a patient already mm -hmm. yung mga movements yung mga ganon. Anyway, I think you're all good. Congratulations. Thank you for bearing with us. And uh, any questions? Congratulations, naka week 7 na kayo and uh, marami na kayong fans. So sana all, yung iba mukhang ano ba pinaglalagay na message. Ay, naku nakaka Ay, grabe naman si Sir Herbert, nagda-drive. Talagang pinakita niya, mukhang lumabas muna para hindi sumagot. Okay. <laughs> Joke lang ha, Sir Herbert. Hindi talaga ko... Mukhang malapit lang sa bahay. Anyway. <laughs> Mukhang booking. Okay, anyway, sorry lang po. Sorry, hindi naman. Huwag tayong mag-judge. Okay, I hope... Okay, uh, are you enjoying the journey so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nag-aaral ba kayo? Yung mga mahilig mag-drive dyan. Kahit naman siguro dalawang oras, mag-rest muna. <laughs> okay, for your Revalida, all you have to do is you study all the questions that we asked during the 10 weeks. So, we welcome... Okay, okay lang ba sa inyo? We can have uh, Friday next week for week 8. Friday? Friday po, doctor? Yes. Friday po, doctor? Oo, kasi meron po kasi mag-attend din kayo ng ano ng baay. I'm also the education head of the education ano sa ano eh. And we have prepared a series of lectures for you. Meron din silang face to face. And yun nga lang magbabayad kayo ng ano but uh, for every seminar. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you can invite everyone uh, sa hijama, wet capping. I don't know if you would like to do that. Ako honestly, I'm not very keen on that kasi I find it messy. Pero at least marami tayong matutunan. Um, even our mentor was not very positive about it. Uh, wag lang natin abusuhin. If you feel na we cannot do it, then don't do it. And I, if I'm not mistaken, meron din schedule na bloodletting. Tuturuan mm -hmm. kayo ni Dr. Webb, President of the Philippine Academy of Acupuncture Inc. to do proper bloodletting. Okay? So para medyo ano, pasanayan lang yan eh. 
So if you believe you can do it, then you do it. Um, just make sure yung inyong mga uh, ano to, yung inyong cups should be sterilized. So we invite you on Monday, 8 to 9 p.m., 1, 2, and 3. You will meet again Dr. Webb. Okay? So maraming salamat po. Enjoy your salamat weekend. Thank, Thank you, Dr. 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 Thank you, Andiyan na si Sir Herbert, o. Oh. Hello po. Hello po. Iba yung gamit mo sa ano? Iba yung gamit mo sa motor? Ito rin po. Ayong ba rin ba yun? Ah, okay. O oh, sige, i-recite mo na. O oh, sige. Next time, mag-participate ka na. Okay lang ba sa inyo Friday? Friday, 8 o'clock. Sige, Doc. Sige, Doc. Double time tayo. Uh, the topics will be will go now again to points and probably some of the basics. Uh, I hope you enjoy the five elements, yes. mastery, and uh, what else? Oh, I, I think we have to take up the extraordinary vessels. Hindi pa natin alam yon, de ba? So and some of the patterns probably para alam na natin anong mangyayari anong chi deficiency just the basic patterns and uh, mastery of all the organs so we're about to end we have only 3 weeks left uh, para hindi boring we'll probably do it like kasi there are eight extraordinary vessels alam ko alam niyo na yung dalawa yung red and the uh, two the conception vessel and the uh, Governing vessel. Oh my. Uh, lang masyadong ano, yung mga penetrating or chong. Ano pa ba? Yung yin linking, yin, yang linking, yung mga ganun. Uh, we will try to simplify everything. We'll probably do two sessions for that. And um, ang maganda lang po sa ano, mga EOVs, extraordinary vessels, is you will be using confluent points. Kasi aside from, no, Ang conception pati ren, a uh, conception pati do rather no, ano do and ren. Do and ren. Conception and governing they have points, but the others, wala but um, you will have to like trace them. But oh, sige, ganon. We'll we'll probably spend two meetings for that, and then mm. uh, maybe mastery of the organ, the functions, okay. So would that be okay for week eight? And I hope you're all enjoying. And we hope na nag-level up na tayong lahat. Uh, we can do everything in our uh, in our power to to help everyone uh, improve his skill. No. So thank you very much, everyone. Good night. Thank Have you. a great day. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Congratulations. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you next Friday at 8 o'clock. Thank you, Paul. Yes. Good night. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Have a great weekend. Rest. Relax muna. Bye-bye.